Morning guys, it is early in the morning and I am down in my office getting some work done. It's almost time for me to work out, so you know what time it is. Zip fizz time, oh black cherry. <laughs> yeah, so if you know anything about me, you know I love black cherry zip fizz, so this is gonna be a good day. Unfortunately, I left my bottle opener in the car like an amateur, so I'm back in the stone ages trying to get the top off. Oh my, it's just traumatic. All right guys, it's time to shake it in three, two, one. to a productive week. Hi, Maddie. Hi, Maddie. Doing your yoga, Milton. Oh, again? Oh, okay. Milton, sit. Good boy. Good boy, Tiki. Okay, guys, breakfast time. Like, oh, we have scrambled eggs. We have two pieces of bacon and we have a piece of sausage. Now, I forgot to mention on my meal prep video. When I said I was having two pieces of bacon at breakfast, that's also because I'm having two pieces of bacon on my bunless burger. So there would be a total of four pieces of bacon being consumed with my daily meal prep. But for right now, I'm having two pieces of bacon, the sausage, the scrambled eggs, and I'm also having a Powerade Zero. So it says that there are about two and a half servings per container, and each serving is less than one gram of carb, which I count as a half. So there's like one and a quarter carb in this container and I'm counting it. To be honest guys, I'm feeling good right now. Like you know the, the day that you start a new way of eating, like you're just like full of resolve and you're like, oh total carbs, I got this, screw Atkins bars. Like I haven't really been tempted, but like I know it's gonna be hard because that's when I would normally eat an Atkins bar is after this meal right here. So I'm gonna have to rely on my gum rely on my resolve to be better and to do better and then we're just gonna have to keep it moving you know what i'm talking about so i plan on trying my keto brick fat bombs with my bulletproof coffee in the afternoon so i'm excited for those as well but this breakfast and that power is gonna have to do we got goals it's just too good okay guys that breakfast slash lunch is over it was so good like Oh, I just love eggs and bacon and sausage. And so now I'm getting back to work. You can see I barely drank any of that Powerade Zero. So I have this whole thing to get me through the rest of the day. And also I'm having a piece of gum. I'm having this Trident cinnamon gum. It does have one gram of carb per piece. So I think I will have this cinnamon piece now. And then I also got the bubble gum flavor that I'll try later on this afternoon. Um, that's two carbs. I'm willing to spin them. They give me the sweetness that I need, uh, but back to work and then it'll be bulletproof coffee time. Five minutes later. Note to self, make sure you have all of your coffee supplies together before you start making coffee or you realize you're missing your filter and now you just have all this water heating up that you don't know what to do with. Hence, I had to wing it and make some bulletproof tea. I used this Tazo vanilla bean macaroon tea. I used two tea bags with a tablespoon of butter, 12 ounces of water. I used two tablespoons of heavy whipping cream. I did not put any milk in here and I put a couple of drops of that sucralose sweetener uh, to sweeten it up. So let's see how this is. 
That's really good and it kind of tastes like the coffee that I normally make. That is crazy. Okay, well that's always great to know that this is an option, uh, but now let's try those fat bombs. These are the Keto Brick Fat Bombs that I made yesterday. They've been chilling in the refrigerator, literally and figuratively, I did it again. So I made them into these little tabs. Uh, the way that I portioned them out, I can have four of these. So per my meal prep video, this is just a Keto Brick and some heavy whipping cream to see if it changes the texture any. So let's give it a try. Wow. I mean, the heavy whipping cream just makes it so much chewier and less crumbly, which to be honest, I don't know is a good or bad thing. I like the crumbly texture, but like, that's crazy. I also put some sucralose drops in here to sweeten it up a little bit, and these are delicious. All right, well, I'm gonna enjoy my fat bombs and enjoy my tea until it's time for burgers. All right, guys, that tea and the fat bombs were really good. Uh, and so I'm just gonna have this piece of Trident bubble gum. This is my second piece of the day. The first one was cinnamon. This is bubble gum, and this will really just, you know, tie me over till dinner time. It is a sweet bubble gummy flavored treat. Um, it's sweetened with xylitol, so, you know, think about that if you have any qualms about using xylitol, but this is great for me. I'm gonna have one of these, and then it'll be dinner time. Okay guys, it is dinner time. You can see here I have my barbecue bacon ranch cheeseburger. So I have the burger. I have some barbecue sauce and some ranch. Let me show you which ones I used. I got the G Hughes sugar-free barbecue sauce and I just have this jalapeno bacon ranch. The only reason I'm using this is because I had it left over from another recipe and like food waste what? You know, so like I'm just using this. Normally I'd be using mayo, so like either one is okay. Then I have my cheddar cheese. I have that fresh sliced jalapeno. And then I have the bacon. So I am going to cover this burger up nice and snug and tight with its little lettuce covers there. And I am going to enjoy this. Uh, after that, I'm coming back for some jello. Okay guys, I called an audible. Uh, that bacon cheeseburger was so good, but like as soon as I ate it, I knew that it wasn't gonna be enough. So I actually made some microwave broccoli. I have a tablespoon of butter in here and I whipped up those little pepperoni stacks. So this is just four pepperoni, so probably an ounce of pepperoni. This is an ounce of cream cheese and then a couple of jalapenos on top. And I'm very excited about this. To be honest, I don't really know how much food this is, which is not what I recommend, okay? I'm a firm believer that in order to lose weight, you just have to know how much you're eating. So for accountability, I am definitely calculating and putting my total macros at the end of this video, just so I know like, okay, how much did I actually eat? And then from there, I will adjust. My goal is to eat between 16 and 1800, so I don't know if that's what I hit, or maybe I'm at 2000, I don't know. And that's what happens when you don't calculate how much you eat. And then based on that, like I said, I'll adjust. So maybe tomorrow I won't have these or maybe I won't have this just to let me know my exact numbers because that's how you reach your goals. Um, but I'm, also, I'm very excited about uh, this now. So I'm gonna go eat this and then I'm gonna finish off with Jell-O. Okay guys, uh, those additions to my dinner were definitely a good idea. Like now I feel satisfied. I feel like my dessert of two Jell-O cups and I did open an ice drink, but I don't feel bad because I had two, count them, two bottles of water today. So I am okay with this. Plus ice drink doesn't have any carbs or anything like that. So this is where I'm gonna leave it today. Overall, I think today went very well. I mean, eating total carb is not difficult. There are still plenty of great things to eat. It's just that when you get into a habit of doing something, you really start to think that you can't do it any other way. And that's false. Like, just because I've been eating an Atkins bar or Quest bar every day doesn't mean that I can't survive on keto without it. Just because I have lunch doesn't mean I automatically have an Atkins bar after it. There are other things I can have that are better for me and it will help me reach my goals. Even though today was not too tempting, I know there are gonna be tempting days down the line, but I feel confident that I have set myself up for success and that I'm strong enough to resist the temptation because I know my goals and I know what I really want for myself. <laughs> and right now, 
that's jello and i drink so i'm gonna go ahead and have this and i'm gonna work for a little bit more and then i'm relaxing thanks so much for watching this video if you like it don't forget to give it a thumbs up subscribe to my channel watch autumn keto i make weekly meal preps weekly what i eat wednesdays monthly weigh-ins monthly keto crate unboxings and the occasional product review you can also follow me on instagram at watch autumn keto thanks and i'll see you next week